All right, let's identify which of them um, would be clockwise and which is anti-clockwise, okay? All right, let's start with the first one. Let's start with the five, 15 Newton, okay? So let's trace it this way. If I trace 15 Newton this way here, towards the side here, you can see that this is going against the hand of the clock. So it's called an anti-clockwise mo moment. So it's give you an anti-clockwise moment. So if you've seen it's anti-clockwise, um, we've already treated the concept of clockwise and anti-clockwise moment before now, okay? I'll leave a video to our first class that explains the difference between clockwise and anti-clockwise moments in the video description, okay? All right, let's take the next force there, which is, let's take 20 newton here. Let's trace 20 newton. Let's trace 20 newton towards P. So 20 newton here coming towards P this way here. 20 newton towards P, you can see the direction here. What I have here is actually against the hands of a clock. That becomes anti-clockwise. So this is also anti-clockwise. 